In this video you will learn to set a proper RPM to your air rotor. As you can see, I'm not getting a required rotation speed in my hand piece. Which means that there is not enough air pressure coming into the air rotor. When you check the pressure gauge meter, it is showing only 10 psi. Whereas we need minimum of 30 to 40 psi for the air rotor to attain the required RPM to function properly. In order to increase the air pressure, first you need to check the compressor meter. If there is not enough pressure, turn on the compressor until we get the required reading in the pressure gauge. In order to increase the air pressure going into the air rotor, you need to rotate the controller located at the bottom side of the trolley. Make sure that you rotate the controller clockwise to increase the air pressure. Keep rotating until the pressure gauge reading increases to 35 psi. Now check the air rotor by gently feeling the hand piece. You can observe that it has attained enough RPM to do the procedure. Visit our online store www.confidentonline.com to purchase genuine spares for your dental chair.